Hello, my Tracy's Total Wellness community. I am your Tracy's Total Wellness girl with a special Wellness Wednesday for the month of February. Many people say February is that month of love and honoring who you are. That's exactly what we're doing in my Wise and Well Women workshop series, where we're having roundtable conversations about what it truly is to tap into your wisdom and to feel well from body to soul. We're going to be talking about that in the realm of three different topics, leadership, spiritual growth, wellness. And so today I wanted to share with you some of the items that I love to use to allow myself to be very present when I'm in containers for experiences, whether it's some self-care stuff I'm doing at home, whether it is when I go to a retreat, I go to an event virtually, um, maybe I'm in person and what are a few little things I want to bring in my bag. So some of the things that I always have on hand when I go somewhere is first and foremost a journal. And I do a paper journal for a reason. There is an actual science of the physical act of writing and how it takes what's in here and it actually can energetically take the energy and put it here instead of getting stuck all in here. That way then when you work with a healer or a coach or you're talking stuff out that you have journal, you can share that actual written word that has your energy into it. So I always recommend having a journal and I recommend actually creating the space that's called the sacred space for different journals for different experiences. So maybe you're in this round table experience of wise and well women, which if you're not already, it's a completely free virtual experience. You can find more on my website, but you might want a wise and well woman journal. Then maybe you have a health journal, etc. So a journal is my first and foremost number one step. Now, the other thing that I always have on hand, doesn't matter where I am, are essential oils. Again, something powerful happens to this thing when you breathe in an aroma. Now, bergamot here is the oil I chose because it's a wonderful feminine energy oil. It also protects your, your energy space. Um, it's amazing for our actual hormones as women and it uplifts the mood. So it's one of my favorite oils that I utilize in many experiences. Another thing that I love to have on hand are affirmation cards. Grab a card and take it with you when you go somewhere or before you do some journaling or maybe in the beginning of the day, you pull a card and you see what's possible for you with that divine message from the card. And then one of my favorite other things, besides many of the great things like smoking sage or Palo Santo, always holding on to a beautiful crystal, is a candle. Now many of you are like, how can I take a candle with me? You might not have a big candle, but you can always take one of those little tea lights, um, or this is something you can do when you're at home. But doing the physical act of lighting a candle is actually bringing in your intention and igniting it and lighting it. So this is a great thing to do when you are doing sacred rituals with self. Now, in our wise and well woman experiences, these are going to be different things we'll be doing. We'll be coming together in rituals. We'll be allowing ourselves to step more fully into our experiences of what it is to be a wise and well woman. And I'll show you how utilizing tools, many of them are found in our sacred collection boxes, which you can find more information out on my website or click the link in my bio, can be opportunities for you to amplify the experience you're already having. All right, I am your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl with Wellness Wednesday and tools to allow you to be a wise and well woman in our free virtual roundtable series starting February 9th. Be well.